Hey everyone, my name is Ashley and today I'll be doing a 30 minute full body stretch. You don't need anything for this routine, so let's go ahead and get started. If you're not in a place where you can do this video with me right now, go ahead and add it to your watch later and join me whenever you can. All right, you guys, we're gonna start from head all the way down to our toes and do a full body stretch. I'm gonna go ahead and start just by warming up my neck and doing light little head rolls. So I'm gonna head roll to the right. Just gently. Good morning to your neck or good night. Reverse it. We carry around our head and it's 10 plus pounds. So just releasing it is always gonna be good. All right, gentle pull to one side. Just gentle. Don't pull too hard. And switch. And interlace the fingers behind your head. Come down, elbows in. Hmm. Breathing as we stretch. You can do a slight twist. And I'm going to reverse it and gently press up on my chin. Relax it down. Now coming to the shoulders, let's go ahead and give ourselves just a quick little shoulder rub. Let me tell you, I know this seems silly, but if you don't have a foam roller, giving yourself a gentle little upper body or upper back massage will actually help you stretch a little bit further especially when you're stretching out your hamstrings and you're lowering your back sometimes your back is the reason why you're not getting down so i always like to just give my shoulders a little rub relax them and whether this is the morning or the evening or a midday it's good to just wake up your body You can even go up to the neck a little bit. That always feels so nice. I know a lot of us carry stress and tension in our neck and shoulders, so why not? All right, you guys. I'm just gonna go ahead, roll the shoulders up and back. Roll them up and back. You can just relax your arms, let them go with it if you want, or you can hold them here, but I don't want any tension we're just trying to loosen up our full body you can even go one shoulder at a time get a larger range of motion there's no real technique to this it's just leaning into feeling and whatever feels good to you make sure you reverse it if you're just going forward do back if you were just going back, come forward. You can do one at a time. Whatever feels good. All right, adding on to that, we're gonna do gentle twists. Gentle twists. I like to pull pressing against the knee that is opposite to the way I'm twisting. Now for a deeper little back twist, I'm going to take one foot, put it on the opposite side of my quad, grab that knee in, hand down behind you, and extreme twist like you're a towel and you're wringing it out. Breathe. And release, switch sides, slowly, no rush. Put that foot on the opposite side of the quad, pull in that knee as tight as you can, hand is right behind me, and twist. Breathing, twist, 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 as far as you can go.
Nice, you guys. Let's come back. And let's just roll out the wrist. I feel like um, the wrist gets left behind a lot. Not a lot of people stretch it out or roll it out. But I mean, if you're at a desk a lot, if you ride a lot, even if you have to pick up heavy things at work, whatever you do with your days, these are our joints. And over time, they can definitely start to get a little, a little tense. So roll out those wrists, shake it out. Another thing I like to do, fingertips on the ground facing you and stretch out that forearm. Stretch it out. If you have to hold things tight, if you weight lift a lot, it's going to be tight right here for sure. Flip it over, stretch out the opposite side. Very underrated stretch. Shake it out, shake it out. Easy, easy. Again, fingertips facing you. This side is even tighter. Whew. Well, this is the hand I write with, so it makes sense. Again, if you're a writer, bodybuilder, even if you just do weights at the gym and you're constantly like gripping onto your barbells, this is gonna this is gonna feel tight. Shake it out, other way. And shake it out, shake it out. Just quick little arm stretch. I'm gonna pull one arm over my body and pull it in with the other arm. This is just easy, easy other side. Just to make sure again, we have full range of motion. Nothing's too tight. I always would neglect stretching out my arms whenever I was in dance and I would end up hurting part of my back or my shoulder or my chest because I would throw my arms out but I would not have warmed them up or stretched them out and it was never a good idea so definitely stretch out your arms all right you guys I'm going to go ahead come on over working our way down to the sides of our body Breathing into it, other side. Nice, you guys. One more time. Give me a little pulse here. Try to go a little bit further. Other side, little pulses. Both sits bones on the ground. And come up. Nice, you guys. Let's do it holding our knees. Let's go chest forward and chest in. Chest forward, chest in, forward and in, forward, in, reverse it, out and in, out. And in. Warming up that upper body. Last one. Nice, you guys. Let's go ahead and come to our side. I'm going to go ahead and just do some gentle stretching. I'm going to put one foot over the opposite quad like this. And I'm going to sit up on my fingertips and feel that stretch. I like to start on my forearms when I put my legs into place. And then I just, maybe some people are just here. Maybe you can go all the way in, but that's why I start like this because then you can gauge how far up you can go before it starts to get a little too tight. Breathe into it, breathe into it. Nice, you guys. You can twist a little with it, trying to drop the knee, getting a little bit of hip rotation. 
nice switch come back down on the forearms and slowly up you know this one is not as tight I can actually go a little bit further up on this side again probably because this is my non-dominant leg for dance and whatnot and again, twisting a little bit, waking up the hip. Nice release. Let's come on our backs. And we're gonna do a similar stretch to that. I like to, whenever I get on my back, <laughs> I like to put my knees in and rock them forward and back because I don't know if you could hear but my lower back just cracked a little bit if you're on a hard enough surface and you do this little forward and back motion sometimes you'll get a little a little crack a little pop all right let's put our feet down and do the same setup as we did with our foot over our opposite quad I'm gonna take my hands grab that hamstring and gently pull it in just doing a little double whammy on this stretch I feel like this one is a little bit more intense so I like to warm up with that first one I did and then you can really 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 get tight with it pulling in that hamstring to get maximum stretch breathing into it you can extend this leg if you also want a hamstring stretch. And feet down. Let's switch. Take your hands, thread them through, grab that hamstring, and gently pull. Yeah, this one is definitely more intense. I feel it maybe because you're able to kind of pull it in a little bit more. Breathe. Again, you can extend this leg if you want to get a hamstring stretch while you're there. All right, gently lowering down. While we're here, let's drop our knees one side and then the other just to again ring out that vertebrae. I'm putting my knees to the right and I'm going to put my hands and my arms all the way to the left and my focus will go left so we're just twisting you can also extend that top leg for a little bit of an outer leg stretch as well you can extend the bottom leg if you want to kind of twist a little further and slowly back to center other way knees are going to drop and i'm going to twist again you can extend that top leg if you'd like flex it to get an extra stretch or you can extend the bottom one so you can twist a little bit further whatever works for you And coming up, gently hugging in my knees all the way up. I'm going to actually rock myself up so I can scoot a little bit forward on my mat. This next one is a full vertebrae stretch and it's one of my favorites. It looks a little silly, but it does the trick. It does what it needs to do. It stretch stretches out all the way from my neck, all the way down from my tailbone so you can use your hands to help you out but basically I'm gonna rock back and you can bring your knees in you can keep the legs out try to touch your toes to the floor if you want you can press against the floor you can hold your hips if you are like this I do challenge you to stretch out your legs You can feel, especially 
if it's first thing in the morning and you are all stiff, this is not going to be as easy, I promise. The come down is just as important. We are going to slowly, you can hold your hips here, slowly go vertebrae by vertebrae. Gently release it and hold it here. Bring one knee in, one knee out. Actually, I'm going to scoot back on the mat so you guys can see a bit better. One knee in, other extended out. Open it up. And come back in. I'm going to do that a few more times just to wake up the hips. Open it and I'm pressing down with this hand, pressing down. Not too hard, but just enough to wake it up. Third time, breathing into it, try to go a little further. And back in. All right, you guys, let's gently extend it up. Don't shift your hips wherever your hips are right now. Keep them in line. Then grab your leg and gently pull forward, but only, only as far as you can. Don't sacrifice the hip alignment for how close it is to your face. If my hips are completely aligned, I'm gonna stop right here. And just go gentle on your hamstrings, okay? Don't try to force them or anything. They're fragile, okay? They are fragile. I like to do a little bit of flex, point. You can do light, gentle pulses in and extending out. Sometimes I like to tap my hamstrings just to be like, hey, good morning, wake up. <laughs> I don't know why, but that always helps me go a little bit further, just tapping the hamstrings, telling them to wake up. <laughs> Flexing, pointing, pulling a little further each time. Working your way as far as you can go. I don't know why, but this technique always works for me. It's almost like a kind way to say hello to your hamstrings. It's just easing into it. I like to move through it. And relax that leg. Switching legs, pulling that knee into the chest. And again, on this side, we're gonna open up that hip, pull it gently bring it back sometimes my hip will even pop <laughs> a little bit when I do this and back in and again just press gently with this hand to open it press it down and back in nice you guys let's go ahead keep the hips in the place and gently lift Gently lift again, a little flex, a little point, gently holding it closer and closer, little pulses, waking it up, good morning, good morning, hello hamstring, it is I, <laughs> flex and point every time a little bit closer and a little bit closer gentle gentle and out and release it shake it out shake it out now I'm going to put the feet in and I'm gonna keep my heels up. If you can see, my heels are up, my toes are down. Kind of like my toes are acting as like a bike stand or something, but I'm just gonna sit here for a second and just kind of let my knees fall open. You can gently butterfly them as well. You can go side to side, you can press down with your hands and just kind of let gravity do the trick for a second here, opening up those hips. You can move your feet around to move your hips side to side, or you can bounce. 
just gentle. You never really want to bounce when it comes to stretching, but if it's very, very soft and light, sometimes that helps me go a little bit further myself. Pressing down a little. And up. Nice, you guys. Swinging up. Coming back up to standing. I'm going to go ahead and gently stretch out my hamstrings. One leg in, other leg out, working our way down the body. I'm just going to keep my toes pointed and go flat back down. You don't want to curve over because that's not stretching out your hamstring. That's using your back. We want to keep a flat back and focus on the hamstrings. When you point, you can come a little bit over, but then come right back up to that flex and flat back. That actually feels very nice. Try flexing and looking away, gentle twist. That feels really nice as well. Again, this is just a feel good stretch for your entire body. So if you find that something feels really nice to you or you need to stretch out a certain part of your body, definitely go ahead and incorporate it. Nice, you guys. Second side, switch the legs and bring it down flat back flat back as much as you can and don't try and open the hips try to keep them pretty straight on and flex straight back and back down and up I like twisting a little bit you can even twist the other direction. And gently roll up. Let's do both legs this time, the ultimate challenge. And let's again, flat back all the way over. And again, you can do some point flex just to warm it up. And gently roll it up. Shake it out, shake it out. Nice, you guys. I'm going to come to the front. Feet together. And little butterflies. Working our way down to the hips. And one hand on the other side. One hand pressing. Gentle press. Other side, take the opposite hand, press the knee down. And hands on the ankle, starting from your lower back, lean forward, flat back, and come all the way down. Try to almost get your head to touch your toes. Maybe not actually, but almost. This feels really nice. Try to just breathe into it. You can also put your hands out in front, but I kind of like to hold onto my ankles or my feet to pull myself a little bit further. Nice, you guys. Roll it up, coming onto my stomach. I'm going to go ahead and grab one foot and press my hips into the ground. Stretching out that quad. We did do the hamstrings. We warmed up the hips. 
Now just get a little bit of stretch in that quad. Press your hips into the ground to get an optimal amount of stretch. Nice, you guys. Gently release. Other side. Hips pressing into the ground. Pull, pull, pull with your hand. Nice, you guys. Let's go ahead and cobra up, either on the forearm or on your hands. Lift shoulders up and back. I like to do a gentle twist. And come back down. Let's do that one more time, okay? Breathe in. And exhale. Lift it up. Breathing in, exhale, come up, shoulders down. And release it back to a child's pose. Hand up. Last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead, I'll show you from the front. I'm gonna go ahead and press into my feet, almost like I'm on my tippy toes, just to stretch out the toes and the feet. You can also go over your toes like this if you want a little bit more stretch in the ankle. Other side, tippy toes and press. Stretching out the feet. And you can go over the toes, stretching out the ankle and the arch. And gently release. Thank you guys so much and congratulations on stretching for 30 minutes. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and download our app, Yoga Plus, for more. And check out more videos in my series. I'll see you there. Introducing Yoga Plus. Offering a free series every month with over 300 different videos. Take control of your health. Work out anytime, anywhere. Yoga Plus. Download now for free.